So hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about handstand. I know that handstand is a very, uh, very impressive posture to do. I know a lot of people like to do it online. They like to show it off. And I know that there's a lot of people who want to learn how because it's a really fun thing to, to do. So uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you one tip that's really helped me. Now what I see a lot online is a lot of people putting a lot of momentum to kick their legs over. And you don't want to do that when you're in handstand. Instead, we're going to take this one entry from a pyramid stance where you have the left foot forward and the right foot back or reverse, however you prefer. Now, from here, I'm going to take both of my hands and put them in front of that left foot. Now, what you want to do from here is bring that foot down just a, l just a, little, a little ways from where you were. I want you to come forward over the fingertips and bring that right leg up. As you bring the right leg up, come on to your tiptoes. So as I come here, I lean forward and then come way onto my toes. And now I'm in this, this much better position to extend both of my legs apart from each other. So I'm going to come up and, and then lift that left leg off and then back. I push onto my shoulders and back. And now as I lift that left foot, I'm also going to push the ground away from me. So I'm coming forward, I'm pushing, and I'm lifting with my core, I'm lifting off with that back leg, and I'm still continuing to extend this right leg up towards the, up towards the sky. Three, two, one. And as I do this, I become more aware of where my hips are in space. So now I'm gonna switch my legs. You wanna balance this out because that right hip can get a little tired after a little while. So three, two, one, bringing this left leg up, coming up onto the right toes, pressing out of the shoulders and coming up onto the toes. Three, two, one, and hang. And you don't want to bring your legs together immediately. You just want to get used to this feeling of your body being inverted. And eventually, eventually you find this hang in there. And what that hang is going to help us do is it's going to help develop the musculature in the lower back, the core, and the legs. So when we get inverted, we find a nice, stable balance when we're, when we're up in the air. So I hope you got a lot out of this today. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time.